Hey guys, how's it going? What's up? Well, we've got the Diana Trail Scout out today. 177 cal version. Now, with the Hades 10.34 grain pellets that I'm using, it's about 4 to 4.4 foot-pounds of energy I'm able to produce out of these things. It's barely enough for one of the targets we're going to shoot at, but I'm more concerned about how accurate this gun really is than knocking down a deer target, which is actually made more for either high-powered 177 or um, anything 22 caliber that's you know under five or over 500 feet per second. Uh, but it can be done. I did manage to knock it down once, but we're going to do that, of course, to you guys on camera as well. But we're going to see how precise this gun actually really is. Now, I have done no mods to the gun. The only thing I've done is put on a scope and a bipod, okay? Um, I did replace the CO2 end cap seal though, so at least it's got a real seal in it now. Anyways, so let's go over to our targets way down there. Now, we're going to start out with a basic simple target, which you guys have seen these targets on my channel a lot. What you haven't seen is this one. This is a 10 meter air rifle target and these things can get really tiny even with a scope they can get really tiny even at 10 meters um, and the idea of course is to go for the bullseye here so first we're going to do a little group shot on the paper target that's down there right now so we'll zoom in for you guys and I've got a few factors going against me today I've got a light wind out here which really doesn't help and uh, so I did have to already recite the gun a little bit and uh, didn't take much because of wind. You have to consider that option as well. And uh, so we've got that done. So the gun's been recited in to accommodate for the wind conditions that are going. And uh, so this is the target we're going to start with. So hopefully you guys can see that really well uh, in the camera. And, of course, we have our deer target mounted on the bench. I actually screwed it down to the bench so it can't move. Um, normally, you stick this thing in the ground, but I wanted things on a more even playing field for this. Um, even though, yeah, shooting it on the ground, too easy. But um, just gives you a better visual and two targets at once this way. <coughs> and we're not shooting at the spoon targets today with, with this, but not in this video anyhow. So let's get on with this, and uh, let's see how our Diana actually does to start with on a standard sized target. Now I'm just using the single shot load tray in the gun today as well. One more shot. Oh, let's do one more for giggles. Okay, so that gives us a pretty good idea 
what we can expect. Now we're going to switch it out for this 10 meter target. Okay, so here's our grouping. I think that's pretty acceptable at 10 meters. All right, now we have the real fun. Seeing how well this thing can really do on one of these actual 10 meter type targets. This is gonna be interesting. I've never shot this gun at one of these targets. It's the last target actually in my collection from way back so I have no idea what to expect but we're gonna go for the bottom left one first Wow, things are a little different when you're shooting at one of these things. Alright, we'll put one more shot in that target. Nice. All right. Now we're going to go after the middle target. Now there is a margin of error for human because the only support I have are, is the bipod legs. That's it. Everything else I gotta use my hand under the butt stock and try and keep it from bouncing around. And so I have to also wait for the wind too as much as possible. Now these Hades pellets do run extremely accurate in the Diana, although the Predator polymags run a little tighter. But these pellets, I like them. Especially if you want to hit something harder. That one went off. Must have been a bad pellet. Which can happen. And yes, we have three fresh CO2 bottles in this gun too. So we're not running out of gas. All right, let's go for the bottom right. Really, gotta watch this trigger, guys. Factory setup, it's really hairy.
All right, so next one is the upper right target. And these last two targets, we're just going to put three shots each into them. Oh, this wind is being a pain. Ah! All right, last target, and then we'll see what we got in the end. Wow, well, we're gonna shoot the deer anyway. Now these are hunting pellets, they're not targeting pellets. But it's also the pellets that the gun likes, and that's not an option. The gun's going to shoot the best what it can shoot the best. Alright, that's it for that. Let's see if we can knock down that deer. Close, but no cigar on that one. Well, we're definitely bouncing the plate. I have the smallest plate put in that deer. Of course, with all the shooting I've been doing at this deer, you can't see the yellow anymore in the back on the takedown plate, so it makes it real challenging now. Aha, there we go. Let's see if we can do that again. Maybe we had a couple of bad pellets. That's two for two. Oh, this is Kyle's play now. This is getting too easy. I'm going to get bored quick. I am going to get some more of these knockdown targets too. They got squirrels and rabbits and all that jazz, so I'm going to get a bunch of them. Okay, too easy, too easy. So, let me go grab that target, guys. And we'll take a uh, up-close look. And for those of you who are wondering what the uh, pellets tend to look like, 
uh, for the Hades coming out of the Diana Trail Scout. Now this is a non-PAL gun. Uh, we'll put them on the table. All right. So there's our target. That was our first one. Well, it doesn't really matter which order we did it in, but one here, here. Missed the bullseye completely on the middle one and on the remaining ones. I did miss the bullseye. Some of that can be table movement. It could be the gun. could be bad ammo. Um, but we know we definitely ripped some bullseye, so that was good. So the accuracy, and then this one here was a bad one. That was either the wind or the, it was a bad pellet. But otherwise, I mean, you're still talking um, like basically dime size or slightly below size groups. So I think it did really well with that. Um, even with zooming the scope in a bit, it's still hard to see that target at 10 meters. You know, this was our first target we did. So if you were looking at the dead, dead center, we didn't actually get the dead, dead center, but we got this. And these are the most common targets that we're all been using all over the internet for sighting in our guns with, um, etc, etc. So, now as far as these pellets go and what they look like, give you an idea of the squash factor. Let me just lower things into perspective here. So if you're curious at all how much kind of squish these things can go through. Now remember these are a 10.34 grain pellet so they're a heavy pellet. They got a really funky style uh, front to them. I'm going to actually try the 22 caliber version out and I got to order more of these anyways because they do work extremely well on the Diana. So, and I'm sure there is definitely going to be a very top performing pellet out there for it. I just got to find one. But, you know, that's hitting steel. I mean, these things are getting crunched. You know. Now, I may revisit this video um, at another date with a new video um, going out to twice to three times the distance um, you know maybe it'll be today maybe it'll be next week we'll see who knows um, but I do want to see as far as how accurate the gun stays at longer ranges too um, you know so we'll only be able to run these targets because I don't have any more of those other ones anymore but um, I thought that was a pretty good test so in all it's an extremely accurate air gun now if you have the over 500 feet per second version and you're thinking of doing stuff like pest control or small game hunting, well, a little tiny bit of pest control with the 177 version, depending on how much speed you have and pellet and the energy you can create. 22 cal is always the best way to go uh, for that sort of thing. But if you're a target planker, um, you know, you're just shooting targets, you want to have fun, you know, you don't want to be like, oh, I can't, you know, do anything here. Well, you know, this gun is great. You know, even in the uh, sub-500 category, this gun is extremely good. The accuracy is there. Um, as far as power, I mean, we're only getting about, you know, 4.4 foot-pounds of energy total with the uh, Diablo Hades. Um, <clears throat> but they are an extremely accurate pellet. They're not the most accurate. But out of my collection of all the pellets I have, they do run the most accurate next to the Predators. <clears throat> and I wasn't going to waste Predator pellets on this kind of a video so for the majority of accuracy um, the Hades do an exceptionally good job as you've seen uh, at least in my gun uh, every gun's going to be different you may have a gun that is going to run the Hades just as well or maybe they run them you know really crummy because one gun to the next never the same that's the thing but uh, anyways that concludes this test and fun for today and I'm going to go back to shooting some other stuff and uh, we'll catch you on the next one guys so, if you have not subscribed, please do so, and then smash that bell for notifications, and we will get you on the next video. See ya!